Good, good morning, Trailblazers. Today is Mar- Today is Thursday, March 28, 2013. I'm Khalees. And I'm Danielle. And we are your news anchors from Miss Noel's fifth grade class. Everyone, please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Now let's go to Ms. Bernal for special recognitions. Happy Thursday, Trailblazers. I hope you're excited because I'm excited too to see who is going to be our star student of the day. Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. You never know who it's going to be. Let's see. Oh, Brooke. Megan, Lily, and Bailey for Mr. Miller's class. All ladies today. Come on down, ladies. Back to the news team. Today's lunch is chicken nuggets with breadstick or spaghetti with meat sauce. Side items include tater tots, baked cinnamon apples, or seasonal fresh fruit. Now let's go to Ms. Keltner for a few announcements. Good morning, Trailblazers. Happy Chili Thursday to you. I know you're going to be hopping around some local neighborhoods to find those Easter eggs. Many of you are going on little field trips today. In first grade, you're going on a big field trip down in the Challenger Center, so have a great day. Luckily, most of it, I think, is inside. It'll keep you warm. Um, I have a correction on my trivia question from yesterday. I said that the first American woman to win the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1963 after she discovered the structure of atoms was Barbara McClintock, but that was the wrong answer. I read the wrong number. The correct answer is Maria Geppert Mayer, but unfortunately nobody got that answer either. So just wanted to correct that. And yesterday's trivia question was who sculpted the full scale marble statue of Lincoln in the Capitol Rotunda? And it was Vinnie Ream. And this book, if you want to learn more about Miss Ream, we have this book, Vinnie and Abraham, here in our media center. And it is a lovely book about a young girl who followed her dream, her passion to be a sculptor. And she um, created this little larger than life size sculpture of uh, Abraham Lincoln, and it is in the Capitol Rotunda. So I'm not going to give too much of the book away, but I really liked it. And Miss Kelly is beaming over here because it's a good book for you to know about, too. So come on down and check that out when you can. Uh, But the most important news of the day today is we have a birthday. Miss Maya Zweidorf, happy birthday to you, Maya. Hope you have a great day. And then today's trivia question is, who is the longest serving female U.S. senator who was elected in 1986? And she's still serving So see if you know who it is and turn that name in. The president's moms who we're going to celebrate today, let me put Miss Vinny down. We're going to celebrate a couple of them today, honor them. Number eight, the working mother, Maria Van Buren. She is Martin Van Buren's mother. She was a widow with three children when she married a tavern owner named Abraham Van Buren. Although her husband was good-natured, he was a terrible businessman, so it was up to her to stretch the tiny money that they had left each month to feed the family. She worked in the tavern, raised nine children in two small rooms above the bar, but there was no money for college. But she convinced her husband to let Martin stay in school until he was 15. Can you imagine? Then Maria found her son a job in a law firm so he wouldn't have to work in the tavern. Maria taught her son and so that he could succeed if he planned carefully and worked harder than any other person. Uh, let's see, number nine was the beautiful mother, Elizabeth Bassett Harrison. This is William Henry Harrison's mom. She was born into the, one of the richest families in Virginia. She was famous for her beauty, um, but her husband, Benjamin, was a politician. He was away from home a lot, so it was up to her to raise her seven children. They had a lot of kids back then. So she was a young wife, and during the Revolution, the family was for, forced to leave their home and escape from the oncoming 
incoming troops. Although they survived this ordeal, sadly, Elizabeth didn't long live long enough to see her son become president. So that was number eight and nine, um, moms. Um, there's two more, but I think we're going to go ahead and move on to our Wheaties. I don't know if we're going to get through this whole book, so I hope you guys do check this out at the end of the month. We've got one more day of celebrating presidential moms. That's all the announcements. Oh, no, nope. faculty meeting today. Teachers, make sure you are there or let me know if you cannot attend. And report cards are due also, so we can start on those comments. And we'll hope to see you roller boogieing tonight at the skating rink. So that's all the announcements I do have for today. I'm going to send it on back to the news team. Thank you. Our champion trailblazer word for the week is drive. Drive is to move ahead rapidly with great force. The rain was driving and hard during a hurricane. And now here's our Wheaties fact of the day. Good morning, trailblazers. We have some special friends with us from Miss Owen's class, and they're going to tell us about our Wheaties champion. The one new month is a team at playoff. She walks side by side with illustrators such as Felicia Bonds. Okay. The new mom never gave up. She received eight rejections at once, but she never gave up, and now she has written 31 books. 31 books? Wow! Super excited! Give a round of applause for our friends from Miss Owens' class. Wonderful job. I have been very impressed with Miss Owens' class. Back to the news. Let's go back. Let's go back to Miss Bernal for a few announcements. Oh, and we're super lightning fast. Back again, Trailblazers, with our star ladies of the day. We have Miss Megan, Miss Lily, and Miss Brooke, and they're here. Do you know why you're being recognized today? We help the kindergartners since they can't um, get up to on the zip line, so we lifted them up and we um, took them up to the top, and then we just pushed them down, and they had fun. Oh, so you're playing with our, our little trailblazing friends. Oh, congratulations. And we want to say kudos to Mr. Miller's class and the ladies here for helping out and keeping our little friends safe and letting them have a good time. So these three ladies will each get a Starbucks and their photo will be taken. Give them a high five if you see them today. Not a karate chop, but a high five. And if you make sure you, you see them, you have your big glasses on so you can see them. And tell them, thank you so much for working hard for all trailblazers. I'm going to send it on back to the news. That's it for WDTS today. Have a great day and go for the goal. Bye.